This must be the transport to the station. We ought to warn you that the owner of that there station ain't accustomed to visitors. Apologies, my friend. I'll tell you what, allow us to make it up to you. Some space pirates from Ardolis have offered us bolts for Leviathan souls. Why, if you were to go and fetch some for us, we would happily give you the launch code. Bob! Bob Max has a death wish! Bob! There's no way we're getting through this without at least two crates of parasitic nitro cells. The Sony. They are little invisible creatures who travel through time. Oh, right. There's the scoundrel! Override him! Thruster coils. Thanks, guys. I can handle it from here. Well, congratulations. You win an all expense paid trip out the airlock. Hope you don't mind letting yourself out. I hate that popping sound of bodies decompressing in space. <laughs> Put that lump back in his place. What? <gasps> he is a lombax. Kronk, Zephyr, lower your weapons! Explain the mysterious circumstances which brought them to Tau and Apogee's secluded space station. Their quest for the elusive Lombax secret. A cipher wrapped in an enigma, smothered in super secret sauce. Uh, that's enough, Zephyr. Oh, um, sorry. So you're a Lombax who's never seen another Lombax, doesn't know where they are or what their secret is. That's so... Ironic? I take it he's the smart one. Well, this is my father's base. Max Apogee? Max Apogee was a famous... Is a famous... Uh, uh, is a famous explorer and collector of rare interstellar antiquities, most notable of which was a Lombax artifact. Pirates raided the station years ago. This is the only thing they took. My father went after them, but never came back. Hmm. I recall that smuggler mentioning pirates on Ardolis. Ardolis? Kronk, Zephyr, get the ship ready. Lock up on your way out, okay? Okay. <laughs> 